Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Cantor and today we're going to do some modeling. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to look at the Explore page and we're going to check out Explore Part B. In this example, they're asking us to look at a table, analyze it, put some numbers on the number line, and figure out the answer to their question. Before we begin and we jump in, I highly recommend you pause this video, read the question to yourself, and just try to see, do you see any clues, any key information, any words that are similar that could potentially help us answer this question? All right, guys. Take a second, pause the video, and then we'll come back. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you were able to read the question and find some key info. Let's read the question together and see what is important. They're saying, here are the low temperatures in degrees Celsius in Anchorage, Alaska. Okay, so this table has days, it has temperature. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 5, negative 1, negative 5.5, negative 2, 3, 4, and 0. With that said, these numbers down here that are your numbers, that's your temperature. Now, let's look at some of the key information in this problem. Hopefully, when you pause the video, some of the key information that you found was as follows. It says something called low temperatures. When the temperature is really, really low, is it hot or is it cold? Pause the video and let me know what you think. Okay, welcome back. When the temperature is really low, that means it is very cold outside, all right? And what else it says here is in degrees Celsius. So what do you need to know? Temperature is measured in either Celsius or it's measured in Fahrenheit. Depending on where you are in the world, they're gonna use a different measurement tool for temperature. Now, you could actually go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. There are formulas for that. But for this specific video, we don't need to worry about that. So what do we need to understand? Degrees Celsius is how do you measure temperature. And these numbers that you see here under the temperature section of the chart, that's actually your degree Celsius. So this is five degrees Celsius, negative one degree Celsius, and so on. So what do they want us to figure out? It says plot the temperatures on the number line below. So that right there is our instructions. I'm going to highlight that. This is our instructions. Plot the temperatures on the number line below. That's really, really important. So we have this number line and we need to somehow take these numbers and put them on this number line. Then it says which day of the week had the lowest low temperature. Lowest low? Can a low be lower than another low? Is that possible? Okay, so what I want you guys to do is as follows. Pause the video and try to think about what could that even mean? Lowest low temperature, all right? Okay, welcome back. Low slow temperature means that if somebody gives you several temperatures and they all happen to be very small numbers, they're all considered low temperatures. Now, when you have a group of low temperatures, it is possible that out of that group, one of them is actually really, really, really low. And actually that's what this question is talking about. They give you several temperatures here. And because these numbers are so small and some of them are negative, which means they're even smaller than regular numbers, so because these numbers are so small, they want us to try to figure out, well, out of these numbers, what is the smallest number? And I can tell you guys, when you're dealing with negative numbers, a good piece of advice is use a number line. It helps put in perspective where the numbers are, and you can really start to identify which one is the lowest low. So in order for us to plot these points on the number line, we first have to look at the number line they give us. Is there a specific rule that we have to follow can we count by ones, by twos, by threes, by fives? What should we count by? Pause the video and see if you can look at the information they provide us with to already figure out what are we counting by. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you were able to see that in this section of the number line, they actually put a zero and a one. So that shows that they're counting by ones. So with that said, before I put the numbers that they give us in the chart, onto our number line graph, what I'm gonna do is let's first put our numbers onto the number line, all right? So if you guys want, pause the video, I'm gonna do it myself, and then let's come back together and let's see if we both place our numbers correctly on the number line. Welcome back. Hopefully your number line looks like this one, where every number continues to grow by one, from one to two, we're going by one, by one, by one, and so forth, until we reach to 10. And if we're going to the negative side, Little by little, one at a time, these numbers are growing more and more in negative. So now we have this number line. Before we plot these points on the number line, let's figure out which direction is warmer and which direction is colder. Pause the video one more time and try to figure out which direction is the warmest and which direction is the coldest. Okay, 
welcome back. If you said in this direction, the temperature is getting warmer, then you are correct. And if you said in this direction, the temperature is getting colder, then you are also correct. Good job with that one. So the reason why we put warmer all the way to the right is because the more you move to the right, the bigger the numbers get, which means they're getting hotter. And on the left side, the more negative you get, that means the numbers are getting smaller, so it's getting colder, okay? So let's plot the temperatures. I'm going to use letters for the days. I'm going to use M for Monday, TU for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, TH for Thursday, F for Friday, SA for Saturday, and SU for Sunday. Let's take that information and let's plot it on our number line. As I do this, follow along. If you want, pause the video, do it yourself, and then come back and check to see what we have here. All right? All right. Welcome back. Monday, it says the temperature was 5 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to find my five. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Five degrees Celsius. Boom. Monday. All right. Next. Tuesday is negative one. Let's find negative one. Here's negative one. Let's put Tuesday. T-U. Here we go. Let's keep moving. Wednesday. Negative 5.5. Negative 5.5? You can have half of a degree. What does that even mean, negative 5.5? Where would that even go? I see a negative five, but negative 5.5, we don't have decimals here. So guys, take a second. Where are you going to put this Wednesday? Where does that go? Okay, welcome back. If you said that you're placing it between the negative six and negative five, you actually are correct. Because if you look here, you will notice that as you continue to move from one to the positive side, the numbers continue to get bigger. And as we go to the left, we get colder, which means that in order for you to have a negative 5.5, you would actually have to move more to the left, more to the negative zone. Had you went one to the right, what would end up happening is you're not going to be at negative 5.5. You're going to actually be at negative 4.5. All right. So that's your Wednesday. Now, where does Thursday go? Thursday says negative two. So let's find negative two. It's actually right next to Tuesday. That's pretty interesting. Just looking at the table, I wouldn't have seen that. But once we plot it, you can actually see that Tuesday and Thursday is very close to each other. And Friday is positive three. So here's Friday, positive three. Let's put an F here for Friday. Here we go. And what else we got? We got Saturday at positive four. Oh, wow. Okay. So Saturday, the temperature was really nice. We have, I'm going to put SA for Saturday. Here we go. And what happened on Sunday? Oh, wow. On Sunday, the temperature went down. So on Sunday, the temperature went down to zero. Okay, so here we go. That's Sunday. Okay, so at this time, we have officially plotted every single day of this specific week in Alaska. And we're trying to see out of all of these points, which one is actually the coldest one. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds, pause the video and try to see, can you identify where is the most coldest temperature out of all the ones you see here? All right, welcome back. If you were able to say that the coldest temperature out of all these days here has to be Wednesday because it is the closest to the word colder, it is the furthest from the word warmer, then you are correct. The coldest temperature in Anchorage, Alaska during this week was Wednesday. So yes, it was cold in Alaska this week, but on Wednesday, it was very, very cold, all right? Wednesday is a day that you probably want to stay inside your house. Okay, so with that said, when they're asking you which day was the lowest low during this week, we would say the lowest low during this week in Alaska was on Wednesday. All right, let's answer our question in a complete sentence. And that is it for this problem. All right. If you had any questions during this video or if something wasn't clear to you, I advise you to stop the video, play it again from the beginning, and try watching it one more time, okay? Maybe that will help you. All right, with that said, I will see you guys later. This was Mr. Cantor, modeling Explore B for you. Take care, everybody.